هذا خالص غير لما يبقى الجولي هيتكلمه اجي من قدامه على الجولي تمام دكتور احنا هنبدا بقى
वाला ये भाषा है ना
We will start in one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second edition of Miss Eco Teen 2020.
Welcome the candidates in their national costume. Miss Albania. Albania is one of the most heartwarming and welcoming countries. The traditional food is really unique and delicious. Bashkortostan is a republic that located at the junction of Europe and Asia.
has one of the longest history of any country. It has one of the seven wonders of the world. Egypt is famous for its ancient civilization and some of the world's most famous monuments, including the Giza Pyramid and the Great Sphinx and the ancient temples of Luxor, dating back to thousands of years. Many diverse cultures, Baharat, India, is an ancient and vibrant place with more than 1.2 billion people. We believe that unity is diversity. center of Euro-Asia. The capital of Kazakhstan is Astana North South. largest country by total area with 47.6 million people. Its capital and largest is in Nairobi, while its oldest and first capital is the coastal city of Mombasa. Friendly people, diverse people of different religions and beliefs, racial backgrounds live together in harmony and peace on this eco friendly and beautiful island. Montenegro. Montenegro is a beautiful country. It's one of the few places in the world where you can see such a beautiful combination of mountains and sea. by land size but has a rich and beautiful culture. Dutch people have extreme respect to diversity and cultural differences.
Paraguay. Paraguay is a landlocked country in South America that lies between Argentina, Brazil, and Bolivia, with large expanses of swamps. for travelers. South Sudan, unlike on True Hubble, Martin, and Walker. economically successful region of Russia. Many innovative projects are tested here. The capital of the Republic of Tatarstan is the city of Kazan.
live in the Great Smoky Mountains, which is one of the largest national parks in my country, where we value our wildlife and tourism. We believe in preserving our country to keep it beautiful and clean. Gentlemen, and welcome to the final and coronation night of Miss Ecoutine International 2020. سادتي سادتي برحب بكم طبعا ومتشرفين بحضوركم كلكم ومبسوطين قوي بكم وانتوا كتير كده ومنورين ايه ده ما كنتش متخيله ان هيبقى في ناس كتيره ايه ده مبسوطه الحاجات دي بتبسطني قوي اهلا بكم في الحفل النهائي لتتويج ملكه جمال العالم للمراهقات اكو لسنه 2020. Uh, before we start, there's something that I have to say. Right now, the world is going through a lot. Coronavirus, bad weather, wars, many bad things that never actually end. So in the midst of all of this, and in the midst that all of the countries all around the world, they're trying to cover up for the losses that coronavirus has caused, Egypt, in the meanwhile, is expecting delegates and tourists from all around the world. Egypt, meanwhile, is proving to the entire world that it is safe, that we are taking all the precautions necessary to get rid of the virus corona. So while standing here right now, I gotta say, I'm so proud of the Miss Ecoutine organization, and I'm so proud of Egypt for having this night today. Abla Magda. حابة أقول حاجة صغيرة إنه الفترة دي فترة صعبة على العالم كله وفي الوقت إنه العالم كله بيحارب في فيروس كورونا مصر بتستقبل أجانب من جميع أنحاء العالم وبنسبة العالم كله إن مصر بلد آمنة إن مصر بتتبع كل الإجراءات الوقائية والإحترازية اللازمة علشان نقضي على فيروس كورونا. Before we go on with our event, there's so much that I need to tell you and there's so much that we're going to talk about. But for now, as you can see, I have gorgeous contestants right behind me and they have beautiful national costumes. Because we have beautiful national costumes, it would be a shame to not have a winner as the best national costume. So as a matter of fact, we have three winners. 
for the best national costumes. In order to announce the winners, I will have to call on the stage Dr. Amel Riz, President of Miss Equity International 2020. If, if you think they look beautiful, give them a round of applause. I thought that too. <laughs> okay. So, um, I've got to say that the national costumes are one of my very favorite parts in any beauty competition because it truly reflects on each country's culture and each culture tradition so it's very eye-pleasing to see this right in front of you like it's like you've traveled all around the globe in like what five minutes so okay, wow Philippines is huge wow I don't know how you got this on a plane <laughs> I'm guessing you did something illegal <laughs> okay who else ah, Egypt very pharaonic okay blue ooh, ooh. Netherlands I love it Okay, girls, you all look uh, gorgeous. And here are the flowers for the winners of the best national costume. Yay. Okay, so as I told you, we're having three winners for the best national costume. The third winner goes to Egypt. And the second winner of the best national costume goes to South Africa. And the winner of the best national costume, I think it's pretty obvious, the Philippines! Ladies and gentlemen, you have the three winners of the best national costume, Egypt, South Africa and the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you girls, thank you and congratulations to our three winners. So, um, Miss Akutin, it's an international pageant that was founded two years ago here in Egypt, for those of you who don't know. Now, Miss Akutin International is very special, at least for me, for two reasons. First of all, it ensures that the world understands what is sustainable development. It makes sure that tomorrow we'll be living in a better, in a safer, and in a cleaner environment. One thing that's also very special about Miss Akutin and Inter International is that it focuses on the youth. And in my personal opinion, if you want to see a better tomorrow, 
you focus on your teenagers and that's exactly what we're doing right now. Tonight we have 19 contestants from all around the world right here, right now in the center of Hargada. So, um, I know you want to see the contestants and I know you don't want me on stage, you want them, but you have me for now, so. Uh, let me introduce to you our jury panel who are going to have a lot of work to do today because I believe that all the contestants are gorgeous and they believe to win the title today. خلوني أعرفكم على أعضاء لجنة التحكيم وطبعا بنبدأ برئيسة لجنة التحكيم founder and president of Miss Echo International and Miss Echo Teen International and special advisor of the general secretary of MSAM in the United Nations in New York, Dr. Amel Riz. And all the way to Egypt, we have the television author, producer, journalist, and writer. Uh, you think I'm done? No way. She owns and runs the Vincha production, and she was recently a jury member in the European Independent Film. Please give it up to Vesna Jugovic. <laughs> You're gorgeous, by the way. So happy to have you. of two very leading magazines in the Middle East, Sports and Fitness Magazine and He Magazine, and also president of the Egyptian Taekwondo Federation and a board member of the Egyptian Olympic Committee, Amr Sidi. Sponsors, Le Miss Ecotine International. Of course, I would like to thank our sponsors. Without them, the event wouldn't have been this event. So um, I have to start with Ecospire. I thank Ecospire, the company, the company, the company, the company, Miss Ecotine, also, not just Miss Eco, Le Miss Eco International. Sorry, not Miss Ecotine. Of course, I thank Pick and Buttress Group. هما المين سبونسر معنا وبوجه شكر خاص لرجل الأعمال كامل أبو علي رئيس مجلس إدارة الباترز جروب <تصفيق> بشكر طبعا وايت شارك وأحب أوجه شكر خاص لرجل الأعمال أبو المجد علي <تصفيق> بشكر كمان فاتيكا هيما جو هارفي ستور جورج خليل فيديوغرافي والميك اب ارتست سما سارة اشرف خلود عثمان شيماء فاروق ونهال رويل ثانك يو ايفري وان فور ميكينج ذس ايفنت هابن اوكي سو بيفور وي جو اون وذ اور ايفنت اند ويلكم ذا جيرلز وان مور تايم اون ذا ستيج ليت اس واتش ا فيديو اوف سم اوف ذا فيزيتس that the girls have been to. So the contestants, they visit a lot of places here in Horgada. They've been to the Horgada Museum and they also been to the Grand Aquarium. And I was so mad because I wanted to go to the Grand Aquarium, but they didn't take me with them. So I'll leave you to watch the video and we'll be back shortly.
Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video, first of all. The next segment is my favorite, and it's gonna be your favorite too, if you're a dancer or if you love dancing in general. So I keep thinking of another. Let's watch the summary of our Miss Fitness competition.
I know, you were expecting the girls and not me, but here am I again. I don't know, I can't help it. I love the stage. Okay, so um, as the contestants are getting ready, how about we do a little of a cha-cha with our juries and ladies first, of course. So, Lesna, is this is your first time here to um, visit Egypt? Is it working? Working work mic, please. Yeah, uh, no. Yeah. I've been here many times. Wow. I enjoy uh, your culture, your history. Our, Our pleasure. Exciting coming here and uh, feel your energy, Egyptian energy. Okay, great. So have you been to Hurghada before or it's your first time here? I've been in Hurghada, I've been in Sharm el I've been in Sharm el and Tanger. Wow, you've been everywhere. You're more Egyptian than I am. <laughs> we are very connected. You know? We are very connected to our ambassador, Serbian ambassador in uh, Egypt is always uh, inviting people, you know, yes. to, be peace to come here and to enjoy Egypt. Yeah, okay, so you're enjoying. What's your favorite food, Egyptian food here, I have to ask? Uh, I, something like couscous I like. Okay. <laughs> way, you know, Did you try kosheri? Yes. Do, do you like kosheri? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I like, you know, salad, you know, it's very Nice, not heavy. Very healthy. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vesna. And we're so glad that you're enjoying your time here in Egypt. And please come more. Would love to have you. A lot. Tamer, ba. Tamer, ta taba an fatra mundan jiddan fi majal musabaqat al jamal wa ma'ana fi Miss Egypt wa fi Miss Echo fa ihki li ba kada ala al tajruba wa shakla habbit al mawdu' hasitak habbit al mawdu' eh nitkallam bil arabi wa bil english براحتك if you want to talk in english please do i will talk maybe in english because i'm seeing a lot of our visitors and guests in albatros uh, hi there, I'm Tamer Farag, I'm an Egyptian actor and uh, this is I think my third year uh, in the jury with uh, Dr. Uh, Amal Riz. Uh, I was honored that she uh, she's always uh, choosing me uh, and uh, I find a very big pleasure to be part of this event because uh, it's not just about a competition to choose um, a beautiful lady, uh, it's a competition to improve the value of beauty in the eyes of the Egyptians and the eyes of the whole world. Because uh, unfortunately, nowadays we are not looking for beauty in everything we are doing. Just a little uh, glance our, uh, around you in the streets, uh, in the buildings, you will not find this touch of beauty that we had uh, by the time of the Egyptian pharaohs. Yes, true. So now we're all surrounded by uh, not beautiful things, but not beautiful things, yeah, let's say. So a uh, competition like this improves the value of beauty, and that's what we need, because if we see beauty around us, there will be beauty inside us, and then there will be, there will be no rape, there will be no uh, bad things. So it's very, very important to see beautiful ladies, not only beautiful by uh, beauty face, but also beautiful inside. And they can talking, they can talk beautifully about their people, about their countries, about the echo. And that's what we are choosing here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shetemir, for such beautiful and inspiring and encouraging words. So, ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. Finally, I'm going to go backstage and the contestants are going to come on stage. So, please welcome the 19 contestants for Miss Equitine International 2020 in the dance from all around the world.
So we have our beautiful 
Miss Ecotine International 2019, Beatrice Mota. You look gorgeous tonight. So it's been a year that you have been the queen and Miss Ecotine 2019. So tell me how was your experience and what would you like to say to the new queen tonight? First of all, hello everyone. Um, it's been a different year. Things didn't go as planned. We have Corona. It's been a really rough, rough year. But um, I think this is a, this is an experience of a lifetime. Um, it's something that I'm gonna take with me throughout all the years that I'm going to live. And I cannot be more happy that I'm here in Egypt again. Like last year, I really felt that I met a new home. But this year, uh, meeting all the new girls, all the meeting like more well, the stuff and everything. Um, I learned so much more about Egyptian culture, and I'm I'm completely in love. For the new winner, it's a, like it's sweet, sweet and sour feeling. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna say to her that I'm here for everything she needs, all the time. Um, but for her to like go with with the flow just to uh, feel what her heart says and to do what her heart says and to embrace this opportunity embrace this experience embrace the learnings that the, this will give her and to be happy thank you thank you bia so much thank you and of course we'll see you again in the night thank you okay so um i will ask you to welcome our contestants one more time on the stage. Okay, so we're having a special award tonight presented by Pick El Batros Group, okay? So they're actually offering three brand ambassador, a very good offer, I wish I was one. So the first winner, she's getting four weeks for free in any of the Butters Group hotels. And the second and the third winners, each is getting two weeks stay for free. Lucky then. Okay, so, yay, they are here. So in order to announce um, this prize, I would like on to call Mr. Mohammed Eid, the marketing manager of Pick and Butters Group on the stage. دور المذيعة مع نانسي ونانسي هتقوم بدور طبعا مذيعة اللي بيترجم للإنجليش أولا برحب بجميع الحضور سواء من ضيوفنا السفراء الشركة المنظمة شركات السياحة زمايلنا في الميديا كل ضيوف المنتجة النهاردة جهد كبير الفترة اللي فاتت اشتغلنا مع الشركة المنظمة بشكر دكتورة أمال جدا جدا على الجهد اللي اشتغلته معنا بشكر زمايلي كتير جدا 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 في منتجع الوايت بيتش على جهدهم وطبعا في الاساس بشكر مستر كامل ابو علي رئيس مجلس ادارة شركاتنا على ان هو ادانا الفرصة ان احنا نعمل ايفنت زي ده في ظل الاحداث اللي احنا فيها مش عايز اطول عليكم احنا فكرنا من البداية بالاتفاق مع دكتورة امال طبعا مع شركة المنظمة ان احنا هندي ثلاث جوائز لميس بيك الباتروس ملك الجمال بيك الباتروس عن السنة اللي جاية كلها وللوصيفة الثانية وللوصيفة الأولى فيما يطلق عليه طبعا بالبراند امباسادور أو ما هم يكونوا سفراء مجموعة بيك البطرس في العالم كله فاسمحوا لي أن أنا أقدم مستر عماد فتحي هو الأبريد اللي أنت ترجم لكم وتقول لكم أكتر وقت الوصيفة الأولى لمجموعة بيك الباتروس أو لملك الجمال بيك الباتروس هي دولة أو ملك الجمال دولة روسيا روسيا
اما دلوقتي بالنسبه لا اما دلوقتي بالنسبه لملك الجمال او ميس بيك البطرس لعام 20 21 طبعا لان هي هتبقى معانا العام الجاي كله وهي سفيرتنا في كل دول العالم ومش دولتها بس هي سفيره او ملك الجمال سربيا سربيا ميس ايكوتين سربيا وشرفونا طبعا في الغردقه وباذن الله في السنين الجايه نكون في الغردقه وفي شرم الشيخ وفي مرسى علم وفي سهل حشيش وكل مدننا السياحيه شكرا ليكم ميرسي Congratulations to the girls. I will try to be best friends with Serbia so that she takes me. Where is Serbia? Yeah, I'll try to be best friends with you after the event, okay? Remember that. <laughs> We're going together. You're not going alone. I'm coming with you. So um, I will leave you now to get to know the contestants more. Each one is going to introduce herself. But before we do that, حابه ان انا اشكر قناه 10 لان هي اللي هتغطي الحفل النهائي النهارده فطبعا بشكرهم جدا هسيبكم دلوقتي مع المتسابقات كل واحده هتقدم نفسها علشان تعرفوهم اكتر my beloved country, Azerbaijan. Hello everyone, I'm Albina Sheikh and I represent Bashkodistan. Good evening everyone, I am Jenea Iverson representing Canada. My name is Kenzil Zain and I'm representing Egypt! Hi 
everyone, my name is Darina Bogoyevlenska and I represent Russia! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at our beachwear competition.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the Colombian show. Get ready for the countdown. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.
menina começa a jogar Danadinha pra lá e pra cá Vai menina, não dá pra não dançar Movimenta e joga pro ar Melodia que te envolve que vai te fazer sentar Senta, 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 senta Senta, 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 senta. Eita menina pra rebolar, ela tá jogando e não quer parar. Como no chão, como no chão, como no chão, como no chão.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we came to the most important part of the pageant, our evening gowns. So please welcome on stage Albania, Iliada, who is 16. <laughs>
our Tanisha, Miss India, who is 19. <laughs> Anastasia is representing Kazakhstan. Danielle is representing the Netherlands. is representing Paraguay.
Roberta is representing the Philippines. Representing yeah. Russia. is representing Serbia. Jordan is representing South Africa. Representing South Sudan. is representing Tataristan.
representing USA. With our event, let me thank our sponsors one more time. And of course, I start by Ecospire. Bashkur Ashirka Mamazima Nil Hafla Ecospire. Taban Bashkur Pick El Batros Group. Bashkur White Shark. Vatica. Hima Joe. Harvey Store. George Khalil Videography. El Makeup Artist. Sara Ashraf. Khulut Osman. Shayme Faru. Nihad Royal. Wahseen Azab Photography. حابة أشكر حد كمان مش مش مكتوب عندي هنا في السponsors بس the one who's behind all of the choreography that you have seen tonight and it's very good choreography that I have to say ندى شكري thank you for all the choreography and the catwalk the poses everything okay so like we said Right after the evening gown competition, which is one of the very most important segments in any beauty pageant, we announce the top 10. I have the envelope right here, right in front of me. They gave it to me backstage. So it's just a couple of seconds before we announce the top 10 for Miss Ecotine International 2020. Let me just point out something for you. Right after the top 10, the contestants are going to get asked, and this is the only time that the contestants are going to be asked because usually there's questions in the top 10 and then there is another set of questions in the top five. So the contestants are not going to be asked in the top five. So it's only one chance in the top 10. So how about we start by welcoming the contestants one more time on the stage. Please give it up to our contestants of Miss Equity International 2020. Are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> First place in the top 10 for Miss Ecoutine International 2020 goes to Albania. Second place in the top 10 goes to Paraguay. And the third place in the top 10 goes to the Philippines. I'm sure now I'm going to hear a lot of claps and noises coming from this direction because 
Our next spot in the top 10 goes to Serbia. Our fifth spot in the top 10, this is very special, it goes to Egypt. We have five contestants of our top ten, only five left, so only five contestants are going to make it to the top ten and have a chance to win the title of Miss Ecoutine International 2020, but you're all queens, always remember that. The next spot in the top ten goes to South Africa. in the top 10 goes to Mauritius. Only three places, only three places left. And the next place in the top 10 is, who do you want it to be? It's actually Russia, okay. Okay, only two spots left. And the next spot, oh my god, are you witches? The Netherlands, thank you. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay, last spot in the top 10, only one more contestant. And last spot in the top 10 is for Canada. Thank you girls. Ladies and gentlemen, you have the top 10 for Miss Equitine International 2020. Girls, please take a step backwards and now get ready for the real part. <laughs> okay, so here we have our top 10 for Miss Ecoutine International. And right now, the questions part will start. Each contestant is going to be evaluated on her answer. And of course, the questions part is very important because it adds up a lot of scores to the final portfolio of the contestants. So I'll have to say good luck to all of the girls. And you're all queens. Yay, the questions are here. Okay, so um, who was the first contestant I called in, in the top 10? Yes, please, Albania. Come over. Okay, so your question is going to be from Tamer Falk. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. So, um, in your opinion, how does ecotourism contribute to the protection of the environment? First of all, I want to say good evening to everyone, and I am so grateful to be here today. I would never think that in this situation I would be here competing with these beautiful girls from all over the world. 
Uh, Echo to reason. It's very important. I want to say that going, and I love traveling, so going in different places in the world, I can see how the environment changes, how people take care of it in different places, and that I've come to understand that in different countries, uh, people take more care than in other countries for the environment. So I definitely believe that it's very important because when you go in another state, you see how people take care of their environment, and I think that's very important and that we can learn from them and uh, apply that to our doing in our own countries. So that is my answer to that question. Thank you. Thank you, Albania. Paraguay. Okay, your question is going to be from Mr. Amr Salim. Good evening. You feel good? Yes. Yeah. Actually, you warned me about the uh, way that I have to say it in Spanish. And I won't speak Spanish, but I will try. I'm sure you will understand. Okay? Okay. okay. Help me, okay? Apart del cambio climático, ¿cuál es la mayor amenaza para la Madrid? Creo que además del cambio climático, creo que además del cambio climático. I think so that uh, so it's about the climate time. El peor peligro para el planeta y para la madre tierra the big dangers for the world. somos nosotros, el y... ser de nuestras actividades, de nosotros como seres humanos. So the the change in climax, so it's about uh, all the decisions that we made. So thank you so much. Thank yes, you, yes. Paraguay. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. I didn't quite get a single word. I have no idea. I think it was something about climate change, right? See, I'm smart. Hi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Okay, your question is going to be from Vesna Da Vinci. So, hello. Hello, good evening. I will ask you one, uh, let's say, simple question. Do you think technology is hurting personal relationships? And why do you think? Okay, first of all, social media is a very powerful tool that we use nowadays. It can be used as entertainment, communication to your loved ones, your family, or your friends. And third is information. But more than that, I want to know to the, to the people that uh, social media can be a powerful change to use as information about what's happening to the environment. And that's my advocacy to spread awareness to the youth with regards to environmental issues via social media. Because social media is a very powerful tool that we use and we want that to be the voice of change. Because at the end of the day, this is our one and only home. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. Beautiful. Serbia? Yeah. Okay, your question is going to be from Miss to Age of 2019, Nuris. So here's your question. Um, if you could choose one alternative energy source to develop, which one would you choose and why? Sorry, I didn't hear you well. If you could choose one alternative energy source to develop, which one would you use and why? Which one would you choose and why? Yeah, uh, maybe the solar energy <laughs> because we can do like uh, the most thing with that, like we can charge our phones and everything, and it's very powerful and
thank you. Egypt. Okay, your question is going to be from Dr. Amanda. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for your question. Um, the invention that I would like to invent is maybe like iPads or something like that, uh, because kids nowadays are addicted to uh, technology and social media, and uh, I feel like kids need to live their life and know like what live their childhood. And uh, there's a lot to do when your kids like playing sports, uh, going out, and a lot, a lot other than technology. But nowadays, a lot, a lot of kids, are not a lot, most like every kid had like their own iPad or, or their own stuff doing, playing, like well, watching videos on YouTube and stuff that maybe they're not supposed to watch. So this can change their personalities and stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kenzie. South Africa. Fire in the sky. Uh, tomorrow we're going now. Hotter than the sun, brighter than the moon, darker than the night. Okay, so your question is going to be from Miss Akutin, Egypt 2019, Nuri Eser. So your question is, uh, if you were judging this pageant, which characteristics would you look for when you're choosing the winner? Thank you so much for your question. If I were to be judging Miss Teen Eco International 2020, the characteristics I would be looking for is loyalty to her title, honesty, and friendship. I believe that building a friendship in a pageant is the, is the right way to go in with your head strong. We all as women want to empower one another and build friendships that can last a lifetime. I believe loyalty as well to her title. She will always stay strong and believe in herself. Thank you. I love it. Okay, Mauritius. Okay, so um, your question is going to be from Vesnadi. Hello, Mauritius. Hello. Our question is about COVID-19. Since COVID-19 started, millions of people's lives has been affected in both ways. As an outcome, please tell us one positive and one negative impact on the world. The positive way I see on COVID is that uh, the nature have got time to, to breathe and to uh, build coming again to uh, better without uh, people, without crowded, and um, reduce pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, and the uh, negative it has been uh, many people get hurt, many people get diseases, and that uh, take uh, many lives of uh, people. And I think that COVID has its benefits and its disadvantage too. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Marisha. <laughs> Okay, Russia, your question is from Mr. Amr Selim. 
Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. I have to ask you a good question because we have too many Russians, <laughs> not only in the hotel but in Hegada, so I have to be careful. Huh? Yes. Okay. Here is the question. If you could make one rule that everyone in the world had to follow, what would it be? Если у тебя была задача придумать одно правило для всего мира, которое все должны были бы соблюдать, что бы это было? Я бы прописала правила, чтобы люди не бросали мусор. Uh, the main rule would be for people to stop littering all over around. Чтобы выбрасывали его как нужно, как прописано, по, где должен быть пластик, где... So the litter and the trash should be separated and put accordingly. So the plastic was plastic, the paper was a paper, and so on. So this will be the first step to help to save the environment. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so your question is from Dr. Amendris. Hi. Hi, doctor. Good evening. My question is, what, what do you want your legacy after your reign to be? I want my legacy to be great because I want to empower not only women but our youth. As a teen we have little to no means at all and empowering the youth, especially the women, and giving them a small way to have a bigger life is what I want to do when I win the crown tonight. Because for me the smallest little action you do can affect one's life to become better. The smallest action you make by simply saying hi, good evening, how was your day, can simply affect them in a way that you would never understand. And for me, empowerment is a must. Thank you. Thank you, Netherlands. Canada. Okay, your question is going to be from Tamer Farouk. <laughs> Hi. Um, my question is very easy, but very tricky. Okay. In your opinion, what is the hardest job in the world and why? I feel that the hardest job in the world would have to be a mother. A mother does not get paid, but a mother has to. A mother cares and loves and provides for her children. I could not have been here without my beautiful mother. And I, we could not have lived in this beautiful earth without our beautiful mother earth. Thank you. I love the last one. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> okay, so thank you, girls. Thank you so much, and um, good luck. Okay, so now that the questions are over, the jury is here right in front of me. They're giving scores to the contestants because, in a matter of seconds and minutes, we are announcing the top five. So we go from 19 contestants to 10 to five and then to only one. I will leave you now to watch a video about one of the visits that the contestants have been to, Citadel Sahel Hashish El Batros and Jungle Aqua Park.
and minutes that I get the envelope that has the names of the top five. Meanwhile, I would like to thank our sponsors for Miss Ecotine International 2020, Ecospire, Pickle Buttress Group, White Shark Company, Vatica, Hima Joe, Harvey Soar, George Khalil Videography, makeup artist Sarah, Sarah Ashraf Khuroud Osman, Shayma Farouk Mihal Royal and Hussein Azab Photography. And of course, I'd like to thank 10 TV. Thank you very much for the channel 10. They are the ones who are going to be able to do this today. So I'll thank you all for your Okay, so... How about... We call on the stage... <laughs> 